Monday, May 15th at 8, 7 central on VH1. Black Ink Crew is back to back and united in ink on Monday nights. First on Black Ink Crew New York, with Caesar leaving the shop, Puma steps up to lead and rebuild their legacy, while Ted works to secure his own. Bay sets up her own shop while Rock and Crystal rethink marriage. Then, on Black Ink LA, Kat is preparing to birth a new shop in Beverly Hills and a new baby. Meanwhile in Compton, KP's dreams of ink and music seem to be fading, and having it all is harder than ever. With group dynamics shifting and revelations changing relationships, can OGs and new artists create as a unit? Two cities, one night, united in ink. Black Ink Crew New York and Black Ink Crew LA starts Monday, May 15th at 8, 7 central on VH1. Whether you're searching for that latest sneaker, the iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yup, we're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that makes the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection ebay's authenticators are experts in their craft true connoisseurs and as leaders in their fields they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style so go ahead get that piece you always wanted and leave it up to the meticulous eyes of an ebay authenticator to make sure that watch movement is original that glimmer is real gold that rare sneaker is legit or that handbag is really made of genuine leather and never get faked over again in the world full of fakes it's time to get real with eBay Authenticity Guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Yeah. What's poppin'? Welcome back to another episode of Say Less with Kaz. You. Turn that shit off, Kaz. It's, you that was that the, still, that's the regular low? thing. You gotta let the audience come in. What like, audience? The live studio audience. Yeah, they're right here. You the, don't see them? They're right there. The three motherfuckers that took off of work to be yeah. <laughs> like that. Let's, let's, let's show them some God appreciations. Damn. Low key right here. All right. Don't and, get upset. And Rosie. Hey, what's hey, up, what's Rosie? Up, Rosie? What's up, guys? How's the, how's the OnlyFans launch? Is it good? Hey. I didn't launch it yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see a link I'm in my bio? Subscribing. Don't subscribe. <laughs> or do. Listen, or do. And got, oh, and, got, no. and got stopped by the detective. Oh, oh God. Oh, hey, detectives. Uh, DTs, just subscribe to the OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that alley yeah, right here. You saw that alley Hey, yo. Well, welcome back to St. Louis and Castle Kira Rosie. Thank you so much for uh, joining us here today. As always, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Kazim to watch the full joint. But as always, always anywhere you get podcasts apple spotify amazon soundcloud wherever the hell else you listen to the joints type in say less with kaz okay and rosie or just type in say less and we'll pop right up mm -hmm. we are obviously not alone today if you're watching on youtube.com slash kazim or you are checking us out on any of our social media platforms because we are honored to be joined by one of the most interesting people within basketball circles and especially New York circles. I feel like, especially now, uh, there's so much you could talk about when it comes to just where the game has gone in the past 20 plus years. And the you, individuals that are now being the faces of this right. but, said league. But more than that, more than that, just the idea of how high school phenoms and basketball has just been created and talked to so uh, we're joined by Lenny Cook today. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank appreciate y'all. So appreciate y'all. Thank first you. First of all, this is huge. What's up? That last name is fire. Appreciate <laughs> it. There's not a lot of fire last name. <laughs> Cook is fire. Appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. Before we get started, the music nerd in me. Yeah. Saw it when he walked in. Yeah. The Desert Storm Chain. I did see it. <laughs> the Desert Storm Chain. The Desert Storm Chain. Yeah, and y'all yeah. know I'm a mixtape fiend. I'm a mixtape. Desert Storm. I'm just like one of those guys. Yeah. Clue, Triangle Offense, uh -huh. Button, yeah. Paul uh -huh. Kane, uh -huh. Ransom, yes, all those guys. So to see that chain to yeah. me is like looking at a Rockefeller chain or a Death Row chain or a No Limit chain or a Cash Money chain. That chain means a lot to now, call us mixtape niggas. So appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You gotta shout that out. Storm? Yeah, I am. Oh, you I am. Okay, I, 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 I didn't know. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. We gotta tell a story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah. also shout to Scott the Animal. Yeah, shout, shout out to my oh, bro Scott, Scott the Animal. Shout out to Scott the Animal. Shout out to Clue, man. Yeah, shout out to Clue. Oh, oh, yeah, crew, thank y'all for having me. Of man, course, bro. bro. It's it's it really is an honor, man. You know, I've I've followed your story and just known of you for most of my conscious basketball watching life, right? Like from your high school career, especially being here in New York City, like. 
your name has just rang bells, you know, everywhere. You know mm. what I'm saying? And uh, for those who, who may not be as familiar, um, you know, just the, the Cliff Notes version of the story, uh, Lenny Cook at one point was the number one player in all of America in uh, high Sheesh. school basketball. And uh, this is a time where, you know, uh, high school basketball, I think, was really starting to become much more than what it was. It started sure. becoming sure. modified. I agree. I agree. The sneaker industry getting in. Like, you came in at a very pivotal time to, you know, where everything just sort of became such a business sure. with, with the game of basketball. Even though the fact that, like, you're somebody who, you know, didn't play in the NBA... But you were just as worldwide and well known as anybody that was playing basketball yeah. absolutely. at that time. Um, talk to me. Let's 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 go back to the beginning real let's quick. Dive talk, in. Let's I let's mean, dive into just you know the 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 humble beginnings when you was when you was hooping and uh, everything was sweet and you was you that was guy. that guy, man. Nah, it, right. was, it was it was it just came it came natural. You know what I'm saying? And it came out of nowhere for real for real. Like I never had the dream of making it to the NBA or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And me just playing in the park in Bushwick, you know what I'm saying? And someone walking from the train station and noticing talent was an honor. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Me, Damani, Javet, all of us, we just playing in the park. Yeah. And Jeff Farley's like, yo, I got an AAU program that I'd like for y'all to join. And it just started from there, you know what I mean? And he took us to this gym in Queens. God bless his soul, Mr. Tyrone Green, who was mm. my first basketball coach. Uh, he coached Lamar Odom, Shamika Holsclaw, you know what I'm saying? So just to be a part of that was crazy, you know what I mean? That whole experience from the start, you know what I mean? And then from him telling all of us, like, there's nobody in this gym that's good enough to make the team, yeah. made it more <laughs> interesting, you know what I'm saying? So... But at the end of the day, it was just like, it was like a blessing and a dream come true. So th there was no family rule within basketball for you? Like, like your family or like just like people around you that you grew up with? There was no family route that, that nah, nobody, you no, that. nobody, like my parents, you know what I mean? Just hardworking people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They never played sports or none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It just happened for me, just for me being in the park. Just like random, just like playing with your niggas, just That's chilling it. and you That's just it. like this, this phenomenon player. Well, he's also six. Seven, so. You hesitated a little bit. Every every inch matters, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I know. Hello. Nah, yeah. Y'all caught me on camera. We caught you on camera. I'll take that bullet for you. So, so you were you were six seven at this time when when they saw you. Nah, I was about like six four, maybe four, six four, six five. You sound like it's normal. I was about. And how old four. are you at this point? At this point, I'm like 16, 17. Six, four, okay, six, four, 16 years old. Getting buckets. At Getting the park. buckets. Now we're transitioning to this AAU team mm -hmm. that is pretty much, lack of better words, on your back. Kind of, sort of, but like they already had a name. You know what I mean? Okay. The Long yeah. Island Panthers is big in AAU. Huge. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So yeah. Gary Charles, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he ran a great program. You right. get what I'm saying? So. It wasn't that it was piggybacked off of me. It just so I made it better. Right, That's right. All. <laughs> you so what your shit. Always, I like that. I like that. What's like always that. interesting about AAU is like obviously it's a lot. You know now the way uh, you know NIL rules are yeah. like high school kids can mm -hmm. benefit off their likeness and college kids can do all that. Yeah. Way back then, especially in the in the in the early two thousands at AAU, yeah, there had to be certain back channels and ways of you know getting certain players or getting. Oh them yeah, of certain... course, of course. I I got paid to play. You know what I mean at an early age. Yeah, you know so what I'm saying. And how, how much were you getting paid to okay, to, well, to well, play? Right, I mean, on, I don't remember yeah, how much I was paid. getting paid, but I know I was getting paid. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying. That's why I was able to bounce around. I I played with Riverside. I played with the Panthers. Mm. I played with the Gauchos. Yeah, like Gauchos. I was unstable. Like yeah. whoever came with the bag, that's where I went. Whoever came with the Jordans that was coming out, that's, I, that's where, I, where went. I went. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because Damn, at that time, was, my, was, my mom and them, they just made sure we had what we needed, not uh -huh. what we wanted. Uh -huh. So if I can go play basketball and get what I want, that's what I'm gonna do. So around this time, right? Like I it, wish it, I was good at basketball. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're a teenager, so and, but you're still kind of like you know responsible for the family, you know what I mean, bringing in money while you're hooping. So you're still, even though it's just super early and not even just early for you, just early for anybody, just about the business of basketball. Like, right. are you for the first time kind of seeing like, or did you ever start to wonder like, all right, where is this? Who's 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 getting me all these sneakers? How am I, I mean, getting... I, I mean, I, I've learned 
the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I know that they you they're sponsored by certain people. You know what I'm saying? The Riverside River, Riverside was Nike. Yeah. Panthers was Adidas. Yeah. Like so I know uh, who who to go to for what. You get what I'm saying? Are you the only child? No, it's it's eight of us. Oh wow. Are you the oldest? No, I'm the second to it. So you you kind of had a little responsibility. A little bit, but not That's much. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Because my parents was there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I really really didn't have too much wind on me. And I, I just and had I, to be and, a and big brother. So all this is happening, right? And you say you have what, eight siblings? Yeah. And Sheesh. both parents are in the household. For sure. Still to this day. To this and God Ooh, bless your God parents. Bless. How is everyone in your family, including your parents and your siblings, how is everyone looking at you when all this is happening, all this, all this attention, all this, you know, the accessibility to money, to, you know, footwear, just all this. How are they looking at you? Are they asking you questions? Are they nah, I mean, my, my, or... my parents didn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, right. they they work. You know what I mean? They working people. Right. Um, my brothers, once my parents moved to Virginia and I was able to stay here to continue my basketball career, like it was crazy because they would go to school. Mm-hmm. They would go to school in Virginia and mm-hmm. people would be like, Lenny Cook, not your, not your brother? Yeah. How, yeah. Why, how he your brother? Uh, yeah. Wow. He, y'all here and he's there. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It used to be situations like that that really like bothered me and made me want to make sure that they okay. They okay. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. So so now you, you know you're doing work on the AU scene and you know for folks who may not be familiar of of how I guess like preps basketball worked back then there were camps that was mm-hmm. around the country that was sponsored by these sneaker mm-hmm. companies that was I think uh uh, Nike, Nike had their own American camp. Adidas, Adidas had ABCD yeah. camp. Yeah. Reebok had their joints mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Um, at one point, ABCD camp was like the place that all the best players in that the That was country. a platform. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So at this time, you know, every summer, and I remember- Let, me, let me correct you, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, please. Nike was the big dog. Real. Right, right, right. Okay. Then Aren't they Adidas, all? Wait, now, ABCD was sponsored Adidas. by who? Adidas. Adidas, Adidas okay. yeah. And Nike then, was- where everybody wanted to go. Mm. Everybody want Nike. Mm. You hear like what I'm you. saying? Not but either. yeah, yeah. Sonny knew how to get the kids, bro. Yeah. You know what Sonny. I mean? And Sonny, Sonny Vaccaro, Vaccaro, yeah. Yeah. He knew how to get the kids, man. And that's what made Adidas jump over Nike. You know I, I felt I mean? like I felt like in the pre- like I'm glad you said that because obviously Nike was king growing yeah, up. For sure. And I just remember in, when I got to high school, like obviously it didn't play to the level that y'all played in as far as like. You but, didn't play I mean, to any level. But, Rosie, 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 Rosie
He ended then up. Then he offered him like ten million up front. He got. He, or they no, offered him. Adidas offered him like twenty five. Twenty five up front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then the uh I forgot old boy name who run Nike now, but uh, Phil, Phil, Phil Knight. Not Phil Knight. Not Phil Knight. Um, not Knight. I forgot his yeah, name, yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah. they so flew so Gloria and Braun out, mm -hmm. and it was over. Right, you know okay. what I'm saying. So yeah, I just want to add, like I just want to yeah, get people yeah. context. Nah, Sonny, of who Sonny, Sonny, is. Sonny Vaccaro was an ambassador and still is. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's like he's like the godfather of like the sneaker, oh, sneaker mm -hmm. prep AAU culture, basketball. Mm -hmm. When yeah. it comes to kids, like yeah. he's that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we would call like in in our world, we would call him like a Russell Simmons for sure. Yeah, sure. uh, I would almost say he's Compared probably to like the Def Jam and what he did with that whole. It's more, it, it's more so like Russell Simmons is a lot more front facing. Sonny was like Sonny, yeah. behind the yeah, Sonny yeah, was okay. like, I got you. If you knew, you knew. But that's got what you, I'm saying. Got you, I got you. Like, so when it came to like Long Island Panthers and Adidas and all of that, Sonny would put that's Gary him? Charles yeah. as the face. Oh, shit. Sonny is Lenny S. <laughs> Sonny is Lenny. I don't think there's a lot. It's almost not for nothing, bro. Like yeah, yeah. I love Lenny S, but like you're almost giving. Oh, that's too much. I'm just trying to compare it like, 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 like in my world. Like I'm just trying to compare it in my world. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm doing. He like that OG. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 well, he's, right. he was in the last dance. He was in all this. Yeah, shit. he's like, in he's, everything, he's, he's, man. He's like, he, he had a big heart. You know so he's what still I mean? alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shout out to him. Yeah. Right, shout out to Sonny. But um, like I was trying to say, my fault. Uh, so <laughs> Our fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, let's fast forward to to ABCD camp. So obviously, um, just talk to me about the experience before then, right? Like being known as like the top player in the country and coming in to a camp like that with. I mean, it's a, it. it, it, it it took a long time before that. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I was at LaSalle Academy, which was right up the street from here, mm -hmm. on 2nd Avenue and 2nd Street first. You yeah. know what I mean? Without a name. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I had to bust ass. Yeah. Pause. I mean, I've seen it. I mean? like, Yo. Like, I grew up so I second to, pause, so second yeah. pause for the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah, keep yeah. trying. But, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah. like, going in, going into LaSalle from Franklin K. Lane yeah. without a name, yeah. it was difficult because the guys that I had on my team already had a name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had a famous Brown. I had a Miguel Caballero. I had these guys at LaSalle already. And I'm just coming in and everybody like, yo, Lenny Cook is here. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? You had, did you had that chip on your shoulder? I did, but I didn't. Did it, you what I'm did saying? it help? Because you knew you were nice. But the chip on my shoulder was just that, like, it ain't me knocking my teammates. Right. It's like, I don't give a fuck about the next team. Right. Well, yeah, that's you what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying? talking about like the competition. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about the yeah, teammates. Yeah, you yeah. there for but the But my teammates, like some of them felt some type of way. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You get I, what I'm saying? I can imagine that. But we all became brothers because we won the championship. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. But we ended up having to play rice twice a year. Right. It's a hell of a team. Andre right. Barrett, Cal Cuff, Andre Sweet. We got to pay them twice. Yeah. Same Rays, Julius Hodge, Allen Ray. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. So it was hard, but I ended up breaking through. Right. You get what I'm you saying? Know, and this was at a time where, you know, you just mentioned some legendary, legendary names name, in New York City. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And this is a time where, you know, uh, the Big East is still super popping. And, like, there was just this, le this murderous row of, like, legendary coaches that will come you know what I'm saying? To make sure they can get players like that from yeah. New York City. Scoop niggas up. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so with you, I mean, like, just being somebody who who watched your your, your career on the outside looking in, um, you know, I, I don't know how to really ask this question, but, like, did just you... Just ask it. Did you, did you know, the like, did you... Did you know? <laughs> yes. I'm like, did you did you understand like the gravity of being the number one player in New York I didn't. City? Like, I didn't. It's, how old like, are you? Seventeen. Like seventeen. How did yeah. how do you grasp that? But yeah, I like, didn't how do you? because, like I said, coming into a school that's a Catholic school with a no with no name. Yeah. And I'm not ranked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then so after one year. I'm ranked like top 100 in the city. Uh -huh. And then it went from top 100 to like top 25. 
and then to number one in the city. Yeah. Mm. Still, mind you, not ranked in the country, right. just in New York City. Right. You get what I'm saying? Which is still a hard platform it's to, hard to, to actually get to you that point. This, yeah, is, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is pre-internet basketball rankings, yeah. right? This yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube, yeah, like, this so, is, yeah. fuck the, all of this new shit. Like, if, you, if you the nigga in New York, LA, and Chicago, yeah, you, you, you that nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you, you that look. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what kids don't realize. I don't mean to jump off subject, but kids don't need Kids don't realize the fact that, like, I did all of that shit without social media. Yes. Come on, on yeah. at the barbecue. Keep, keep talking. talking. Keep talking. Yeah, like, keep talking. Uncle at the cookout. Without, Nigga, that's what we do here. This is media. uncle and like, at the cookout. Get off my lawn. Right. I knew on Thursday night or Friday night. I want to be on the motherfucking cover of New York Times for high school. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or the post. Like that was my social media. Man, yeah. we was talking about that. I was talking about that with somebody on Twitter, and obviously, this is a great time to bring this up because Uh-oh. you know the the the, the NBA draft lottery mm-hmm. was this week. Mm-hmm. Victor mm-hmm. Wembanyama mm-hmm. is the most hyped prospect, Sit. special, probably special. LeBron, Sit. special, yeah. special talent. Special, and yeah. we'll get into the old the whole basketball part of it yeah. all later, right. but. Just from your point of view, it's just I, I just know you have a very unique perspective on hype and yeah. coming into a situation where greatness is expected of you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when it comes to a kid like him, um, what do you see as far as, like, things that make you... I mean, obviously, there's been tons and dozens of people who are, you know, talked about being the next this, yeah, the yeah, next for that. Sure. Positive, negative, like, all that shit. As you see these guys come into the league, what's the first thing that you notice about them if if one of them's either going to be the person who lives up to that or false flat character yeah character your background your image mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. like lebron yeah i watched it what do you mean background though like your background period yeah your, your character your, your character, character traits your what personality you look like, like people is watching you me I didn't know people was watching me when people was watching me. Yeah, that's why I asked. I'm, that's why I'm, like, you, I'm did you on Houston it? Street at Club Chaos <laughs> at 17 years old. Yeah. 16 years old. There not knowing was that no motherfucker. social media yeah. back then, no, so you got right. away with but that shit. The, no, I didn't get away with it because when I went to these meetings and sitting down with they these tell, general they managers, you you, they, they telling, see me. They, they, tell, they got they pictures. Him what he doing. You in the club. Yep. So I didn't get away with it. No, That's why I went proven. undrafted. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Right. So it's different. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And a kid like this kid uh, that's getting ready to come into the league now, his background is clean. His image is good. You know mm. what I'm saying? And it's up to him. It's up to him now. Let me let me let me ask Wait, you a so question. That's why you Hold went on. Undrafted because. There's a lot of there's yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah, there's 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 I can't right, tell it all now. I can't tell it all. But uh, right, right, Rosie, right, 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 I'm 16, 17, 18. I'm in the clubs. Don't have no business in there. I should be great. Go to school the next day. Right. Or getting ready to go to workouts before class. But I got yeah. bitches with me. I'm drinking alcohol. Oh and I'm doing what I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did, did you? All right, let me. And I'm going to be very, 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 very just like frank with this question. Did you care? I didn't at the time. You didn't care? After after I went undrafted? Yeah. Oh, you- shit hit me. Like, <laughs> boy, you should have did so something you, different. Right, so when you say it hit you, explain what that means. Like, I, I after, see, we, you, how long is this interview? I mean, we got all day. We got all day. <laughs> we got all day. It's, it's, all day. it's oh, not no, 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 an interview. Uh, it's a conversation. It's a conversation. No, but what I'm saying is. Because, like, what, like, what does that mean when it hit you? Has, like, when I went undrafted, that took me into a depression stage. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And it was like, damn, you really fucked up. Mm-hmm. For everybody, not just for yourself, yeah. but everybody around you. You right. get what I'm saying? And that's how I felt. Like I didn't want to see nobody. I didn't want to be around nobody. I didn't right. want to do nothing. Right. So I didn't. You know I didn't. I don't mean to cut you off. I wanted to kind of like set the scene for folks, just so that if they're if they're following the story and if they're a Rosie and don't know what's going on, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to jump right to. Yeah, that's why I the, said how long the undrafted. No, 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 we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. So like I was saying, we got to ABCD camp, and you know, obviously, you know, now. It's more than just the camp. There's all these these sneaker companies talk about Sonny uh, Vaccaro. You got all of these kingmakers basically that are like, yo, if you this is the platform for you to show out, and you know if you do, it could change your entire life, man. And and it did, and it happened that day. And it's it's a story that I, I remember seeing when I was a kid. I remember 
Still hearing about it to this day. Um, you know, uh, Akron, Ohio kid, LeBron James, mm -hmm. walks in, freshman. Nobody really knows who he is. Mm -hmm. You are the number one player in the country at that time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I guess, you know, the rest was kind of history. He had that coming out party that everybody sort of talked about. And, you know, for lack of a better term, a lot of people... A lot of people's first time hearing the name LeBron James. No, for sure, it came. It expense. came. It came from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I put it to you this way: mm -hmm. He came in there prepared. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? And me not caring about a LeBron James at the time or Carmelo Anthony at the mm -hmm. time. None mm -hmm. of them. Like I played Carmelo Anthony the night before. Yeah, I leave Fairly Dickinson. Come to New York, go party, and then got to play LeBron James at 9 o'clock in the whoa, morning. Whoa, whoa. So you was in the club the night before you played LeBron yes. that day? Yes. Jesus. I think Howie might have been with me. Jesus. He, he might have been, been with fuck, me. Howie? My God. He might, but for, no, for, bro, for, Lenny been for telling sure. us the entire episode in little anecdotes <laughs> that that nigga does not, you, he did not give a fuck. No, I, I, but, I, but he was just fun. good at what he was nah, doing. He, he was, that's it. He, he, he was never a bad example, <laughs> Fred. Like, that's my brother. Yeah. Like, but <laughs> he, he <laughs> fucking asshole. Yo, that's the most but New nah, York shit like, I ever heard. So, like, um, leading up to that game, it was just like, I didn't care. Yeah. I don't care who this kid is. Yeah. Everybody like, yo, he going to be the one. He's, he's, he's got it. One. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just right my on own your personal heels. Say. He's like, he's like the mean? next they like, one. He's, he's on your heels. Yeah, yeah. Just my, he's own a personal, junior. just my own personal memory. Do you even remember who was in the club that night before? That, all right. But now we going to a little. Like, <laughs> in the club? Yeah. yeah. Like, just for, just for time capsule sake. Just, I was, it's I a music podcast. I went to Planet Hollywood the night before. You know what I mean? I Planet Hollywood. Yep. The Fubu guys, yeah, Gavin, yeah. my bro, Gavin, like, shout out, uh, Gavin, yeah, Foxy like Brown, everybody. Brother. You know what I'm saying? That was somebody at that time. Yeah, I, I didn't go where it wasn't popping. Of course, that. no, that's <laughs> what I was saying. That's what I was like, like yeah. I'm like, take me back to the early 2000s. Yeah, I'm like, who's like, in the club? Yeah. Like, who's popping? So like, right we talking yeah. about like 2000? What? This got to be 2001. This is 2000. 2002. 2002. This is 2000. This summer of 2002. I was in high school. Okay. So, all right, what comes out? 2002. Wait, so summer I have a, I have a question. Um, you was probably a baby. She was. <laughs> she was like, I'm, I'm, I'm still why a, you, I'm Why still... you got New Orleans on me? You was a baby. <laughs> 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 Where that shit come from? Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I have a question I, I, for I'm you. A uh, I'm a sophomore in college at that time. So, so I'm still in D.C. But yeah, okay. No, I have a question. How, because I always say this. Me and my group of friends, we always say like, how important is it for a young athlete, basketball player, right, to come into the league and have like a big brother system in place, like like an old vet to just guide you? They're not and, thinking like, that far ahead. I, I know they're not, but I'm saying I think it's important that they have that throughout their career. Like maybe in college, you need to establish one that's going to guide you a little bit, right? No, I don't think it's don't, that simple. I don't, I don't think it needs to be a big brother that's been in the NBA or anything like that. That's happening now for these kids. No, but you don't, don't even got to be in the no, NBA, you, right? All you need is an OG. Like an OG, like just to guide you to like... I it, had OGs. It, what you was they saying? telling you? He wasn't listening. I didn't listen. That's all we're trying to say. I didn't know what to tell the story. I had one. So why did you have like... I had a few. I'm just saying. I had a few. To the point. Let Cass get to the point, I had bro. a few that was on my head. That nigga did not care. Cass, yo, but Cass, just, my fault. Yo, Cass, go I, ahead. And I'm going to tell you, I did a lot of shit on my own <laughs> and didn't care what nobody had to say and didn't listen to a lot of people because of the simple fact that my parents was in Virginia. Yeah. So yeah. I felt like if my parents in Virginia and I'm in New York by myself, can't nobody like, tell who, me who shit. Who am I listening to? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if my if my actual parents are down there doing what they got to do, why am I What's listening the fuck to like, like, I don't I'm sorry, fuck about that, that shit was funny as fuck. No, he, I didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to hear that's that. That's a double entendre. You <laughs> not listening. He not listening. He trying to tell you this is why the nigga not listening. And you asking him why he not listening. And Kaz is trying to say he don't listen. Guys, that's funny. Like, that's now was, he always been a knucklehead. That's crazy. Oh, like, yeah, nah, from day one, though. Like, <laughs> Kaz, continue one, on, I, please. I've been, I've been on continue on, Kaz. I'll shut the fuck up. The reason I ask that question is because I don't feel like um, young athletes these days have that. Even though they do, 
they don't listen. I see where you're going. So I'm like, what does it take for I them see, to I like I see where Kaz was trying to go. Listen. And now I see where she's going. Let me ask you this. Because it's like, for example, John, John Morant right now. There like, it is. All right. The there. <laughs> Yo, Kaz, he, his dad is always with him. Let me ask you this first like, before we get into that. I like, How old are you? Uh-oh. Here we go. And that's going to explain why you say what you say. Here we go. Why? Answer the Answer question. question. Answer the question. How old are you? Yeah, I'm 41. <laughs> I'm loving Kaz's responses right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you think, how old do you think? You think I'm younger than what I'm saying, right? I, you ain't say shit. I'm 35. Oh, uh, you should know a little bit, though. You should know about discipline. and. I do. But that's what I'm saying. So, I, so for, you for, listen all the time? I, when I want to. Uh, but but if I had something riding for it, Kaz, like Kaz, if I was an athlete and I knew this is where I could go and this is what I got to do to get there... I'm gonna do that. To like You're an analyst. Then you got out. a podcast. You listen for it. Make sure that that shit get the views it's supposed to. I'm and a, all. Look, I ain't gonna lie to you. I am John Moran. I'm gonna get there and then wall out. <laughs> That's not. No, <laughs> yo, cash, cash. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta go. Like, no, I, no, <laughs> wait, 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 cash, 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 cash. Hold on, cash. I want to see how this plays out. Go ahead, keep going, Rosie. I, I want to cast. No, cast. No, 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 no. I want to see how. Bro. Now you was dead no, serious. You're dead ass. Oh my god. You're dead ass. I'm, I'm joking, but I'm saying like I'm going to get where I have to go. And he if did. I have to listen to X, Y, and Z. He I did. Will. He got the bag. He got everything. But mm -hmm. what, so, so if you try to get right into job, what was wrong with with your ass? And she was like, I got nah. I ain't doing none of that. No. This is where we <laughs> bitches, <You don't> alcohol. <laughs> Like motherfuckers that want to be around, See? like that's fair. That's all I want to hear. I want to. But hear I got truth. big headed. I mean, honestly, this is the realest response. Like I've heard that's so many what I interviews. To hear. That's it. Nobody that's it. ever this says that. This is the realest shit you probably ever said. Nobody said ever says that. Like, like you know, I wasn't focused. He said, "Nah, bitches, yeah. liquor." Yeah, no. Yeah, the I, club. I, yeah, I mean, fun, fun I, was, shit. I, I was big headed at an early age. Yeah. You know, I couldn't fit in here. Pause. <laughs> I couldn't fit in here. That's three. Twenty-two years ago. That's three. But now. Yeah, like I was, right, so I was right, let's, ego, right, okay. Let's my just, ego was right, crazy. Let's just have the conversation. You you've seen both incidents that's had that happened with Ja. And now you're explaining your 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 mentality, your maneuvering and your thought process when you became that person. You became the talk of the town, the conversation. And you're explaining to us that you didn't care. And you had no clear direction of what you wanted to do because you were just playing ball and everybody was on you and gave you accessibility, gave you whatever the case is. So now we see this. Mm -hmm. This young man's been in the league for about four years, four. Uh, 200 million plus contract, own Nike shoe, power aid endorsement, mm -hmm. face of the league. Mm -hmm. One infract, you know, one, one incident. Like, all right, cool. He was in the club. We didn't know. He didn't know people were recording him. All right, cool. Slap on the wrist, mm -hmm. bro. Eight game suspension. Don't do that again. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we come back about, what, three, four months later? Mm -hmm. they, lo <laughs> they lose the playoffs. I'm sorry. They lose in the wild. playoffs. Relax. They, they lose in the playoffs to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Comes back in the driveway with his homeboy. Flashes another gun. Mm -hmm. Now... We have different pundits in the NBA that are calling for his suspension for 40 games. Other people saying, you know, we're coming down on him too hard. How do you look at his behavior when it happens repeatedly in the public eye? Because the NBA is a private company. You are contracted. You are obligated to fulfill these roles, these rules. And you're still doing something that they said, hey... You cannot do that. Why are you doing that? And then you're still doing that in a public eye. How do you react to that? How do you react to if they suspend him for 40 games, if Memphis releases him, if Nike drops him? How do you respond? How do you think about that logic? How do who, him? How do who respond to how do, me? Not, not how do you respond. What do you think about it? What do you think about the actions first? The I just, repeated action. Wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? And... And at the end of the day, like, I've been trying to reach out to the kid. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For the last two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And, like, everybody trying to shit on him. And I get it. And I get it. But, like you said, the first time is a mistake. Mm -hmm. Like I said to, to him on social media, the first time is a mistake. The second time 
you should know right from wrong. You get what I'm saying? You already went through it. Mm-hmm. So why do it again? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it it can be corrected, but it's up to you. You get what I'm saying? Like, we live in a world now where every guy, everybody's going to bash you when they see negative, negativity or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I don't I don't feel like he... I, I, he should be punished. Don't get it fucked up. Agree. But at the end of the day, he was at home in his driveway. Okay. He was in his car. Okay. He he was just chilling, listening to music. Right. Now, ain't no way I'm going to be in my car and me and bro is chilling in the driveway, listening to Fab or Jay, because I don't listen to listen NBA to Young NBA Boy. Young, yeah, but, they was listening to NBA. Um, you know what I'm saying? But ain't no way that... Like, bro's not going to be recording. He's not going to record that shit. That's the you get thing. what I'm saying? Like, Cass not going to so be recording. So you can't me. sit here it's, and tell you, you. You can't, bl- I mean, you can blame him for doing it, but more so, you got to blame that ignorant ass motherfucker that was with him recording that shit because that's not a friend. I mean, I, 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 in my Back, opinion, Backers. in my opinion, it feels like, yeah, he didn't break no He didn't laws. break no laws or nothing, but I get it. My my thing is the only thing I feel like he's probably guilty of is just being He know that he stupid. did it before. <laughs> yeah, like, That's the only thing. Damn. I know he's embarrassed, bro. Yeah. He uh, he got to be embarrassed. He, yeah. he, he don't want to talk to nobody because he knows he's been fucked up with it before. And, and the worst part, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, they had the, the draft lottery the other day. Yeah. And Adam Silver's talking. And, like, you could tell, like, his tone of voice is almost like, you can tell he was disappointed. He is disappointed. Disappointed. But I'm disappointed. Yeah. As a fan. We all are. You get what I'm saying? Like I I'm a fan of John Morant. My children are fans of John Morant. I don't want them walking around with a pistol. Yeah. Whether it's registered or not. Yeah. Right. You don't I don't need you to walk around with and it. And I think that's that's what a lot of people are getting a loss at, right? Like I feel like the comment section is like, oh, why are we trying to come down? I made a he post yesterday no with Y'all, y'all remember the Draymond Green laying on his couch with the AR? Yeah. Nobody man. said nothing about that. It's different. Though. Y'all remember? That's different. Why was that different? That's, that's why? Exactly. No, that's he's, why? He's at his home. Hold on, hold on. Why was it? He's different? at his home. Because four weeks ago, Adam Silver didn't sit this motherfucker down and said, "Yo, no, no, do I, this get, again. I get that part. I <laughs> no, get that but- part." No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't slide, don't slide, like, don't slide I'm on that. I'm not sliding. Yeah, no, no, no. I get that part. No, I agree with you. I'm, I'm talking. What you mean? Don't slide on that. That's but. Not cool. Was Draymond warned from that? Photo? No, that's what it I'm doesn't saying. matter. No, what, what, it does. He didn't get the but he same got, response. Oh, let me tell you this. Hold. Uh-huh. Right, right. John got punished the first time. That's what, that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, that's it's the whole not, this ain't the first thing. Earlier this year, earlier that's this year, what we're saying. earlier right. this year, he gets a fucking uh, his mom has to call him up to come to Foot Locker Fo- yep. to come and fucking rub somebody. That's uh, one. There's a fucking pickup game with some high school. It's not no random nigga. He's that's like a two. highly ranked high school. Yeah, for sure. Wait, pull the fucking gun on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another time after the Pacers, a fucking red dot is going to the security. You can fuck around and say, "Oh, it's a laser pointer." Actual security. I was like, no, that's, that's good. good. Like, yeah, I know that's what that shit that's is. Three, and then it's this shit Wait, at the strip club, and then it's what so happens the other day. So no, I just feel like it's, it's like I said. And it's, and between all line, that, listen, uh, listen, go ahead. And between all that. He's not being charged with anything. He's like not nobody being is saying, with nobody's that. trying he's to lock this nigga up. Scott free. Wait, I think what he's doing is legal. No, 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 no. Go ahead, Cass. Go ahead, Cass. Go ahead. He said he's registered. We don't know. Listen, it's Memphis, Tennessee. It's pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a legal, legal gun. firearm for sure. registered for gun. Sure. Yes. For the millionth time, there's been so many false equivalencies with this entire fucking conversation. Okay. Nobody's trying to lock this nigga up. Nobody. Nobody's but trying for to lock this nigga up. For what? Nobody's but trying for to do what? that. Because but my didn't thing, do anything wrong, which, but is, what my I, which is what I'm is, trying to say. My thing the is only that, thing people need to come down on or hard on him about is that he is a fucking role model. He's a role he model. He is a signature That's Nike it. athlete. That's it. man. I'm That's gonna say it. something. You can do That's that. It. You can do. You could. Nobody I'm saying you can't have your gun. But I'm not gonna give you my Nike money. I'm not gonna give I'm my power gonna, money. I'm listen, not gonna put you, you on the took, cover of any NBA t- shit. Kyrie, you look what you did. Look what Nike did to Kyrie for nothing. I wouldn't say it was nothing, but that's a good example of saying like, "Yo, you, you, he made, they made an example of him." If you do something that doesn't so how line you up not with make our an example of this kid, America. All right, here to here to break this up real quick. America looks at. America, gun violence in America clearly is not taken serious. 
because we have a we have a mass shooting every day or every month, right? We, we're not doing nothing about gun laws. America is based on this. Is, this is such a. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. All right, this mind. is part of the conversation. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to have. It's like. He all right, so let's, all right, so let's, let's, all right, so let's, I got you. We were Ja. It's a private company. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, like. <laughs> I thought this shit was about Lenny. That's what I thought. That's what I'm it trying to no, say. No, the, but it's no, all trying to whole, get, No, no, the whole thing, the whole thing, like how I feel about The whole thing is, we're like, just trying to figure I'm out how. I'm an example of that. You know what I mean? I've been, I've been in situations with guns. I've been in, I know, bro, look, you look, let's sit down and have a conversation because your dad ain't doing it and your friends ain't doing it. Yeah. You don't want to be a shoulda, coulda, woulda, nigga. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You you got you got millions. Two hundred million plus on the line. Millions, bro. And you setting a bad example for us. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's all it is. What, that's it's... where I'm fucked up at. The the part that really fucks me up though, and on the top of that, is that like, it just seems so unnecessary. He don't have. He, it unnecessary. just seems so unnecessary. But it, who knows? He might have been. That's he might have. He might have had a drink or two in the car. He. That's all. Yo, listen, listen, who knows? Honestly, who knows what the situation may be? In, in a the, fucked up way of sounding, that might be his only saving grace. My only saving grace. Was I was, was like, turned up. He, got, he I gotta. Was, be, he gotta have a drug or alcohol problem. Yeah, of course. So, no, that, that, but that, mentally, that, that, bro, like that you understand, like. Like mental you know, health that, that is fucking amazing nowadays. Yeah. So, Lenny, I have a question for you. That At what point that ain't it. in any career or, or, or your life or your span where this kind of shit happens, where you got to let go of some of your friends? I have done like, it. I have done where it. Where it's like, clearly this friend have, knows. He I knows have, what's on the line. He knows that this man has already been through this. Why is he on live? I have so done it. So at what it. point are you like, yo, you can't you rock can't be me. around you me. You can't come to me no and more. I don't, and I don't care if you mad. Mm. I don't owe you anything. I, I, I don't owe you nothing. So you drop friends when they I ha, not I have done right. it. Bro, I have done I, it and still will do it today. Yeah. Damn, if, Howie. No, nah, he's never going nowhere. <laughs> I'm, yo, listen. He's never going nowhere. <laughs> I'm not. Yo, listen. I'm not blaming my friends. I'm not blaming I niggas. am. If you know what's on the line, no, now chill with you. You record listen, me. I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming I blame, that nigga. I, no, I blame... Lenny Cook blame Lenny Cook. Why do you have the guns? Why? Bro, he Why? didn't have no. it at the beginning of the video. He, he was rocking he, out. He was he the held friend. it. He probably thought he was recording. He probably didn't know he was uh, alive. Why do you have the gun? He owns Why the gun. Why do you gun? have the gun? Well, they said it's a registered gun and it That's was cool. registered That's to cool. John Moran. So if the friend had it, the friend would have got charged for the gun. If it was something that happened, Why that shit would have went to him. It would still fall on job because it's job gun. Guys, no, who, right. would you, no, right. who would you who would you drop in that situation? No, if right. we're in the you car, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. If we're in the car and I'm recording you, and you lit, and you start smoking, and your job so you can't smoke, record. I would never. First of all, like we're not recording That's, each other. Yeah, like, we nah, not. Nigga, we're not that doing that. Down. Yeah. Why we might about, record if we had dinner. Yo, with a, the only time me and this nigga record each other, it gotta be when we here. Yeah. That's the only time me and this nigga record each other. We that's the weird but that's shit. y'all. Why are you in the car? You have friends. Nah, You're not going to say you don't. That ain't a friend. Want... That's not a friend. You guys are not. None that's of, not a friend. None of y'all. None no, of you that's three. Not a friend. Shut that's up, not a friend. Low. Who recorded the first that's time? Not a friend. Low. Another friend. Exactly. Low. Hold right. up. I'm wrong. Hold up. Yo, let her talk. None of you three right here can say y'all haven't woken up and seen some stories, some mentions of shit you don't remember. No. Whereas like there's people in the in just recording. And tagging you. Yeah, when I was like 20 something, un understand. Yeah, but okay. I ain't got no motherfucking I pistol. No, but I'm not, I had no knife. I'm not nine figures. I'm not nine zeros up <laughs> holding my own gun anyway. <laughs> like, like, can we talk about that shit? Like, why do you I'm have nine gun? zeros up? Yeah. I'm never touching a firearm ever. I will have all of everybody. Of everybody oh, everybody got I'm like, I'm not in touching nothing, exactly, bro. bro. Like, for what? It's, it's just like, crazy. That, that, the thing that bothers me about this convo, and I didn't mean to make it about Lenny, but like, just the whole accountability of like blaming, like the good, the best thing I heard you say was like, yo, Lenny Cook, blame Lenny Cook. Yeah, I take, yeah, a, I take full responsibility, responsibility for everything I've done, everything I've messed up in my life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? All, mm -hmm. all 22 years of basketball, I don't blame nobody. Like, people try to blame Gavin. People try to blame Clue. People try to blame Howie, Damani. Lenny made his choices the way he wanted to make them. Mm. Real shit. And he owned it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the only thing that I can do because I don't want nobody thinking that, oh, bro, I know you still fuck with me, but 
You you said I fucked your life. Yeah, Come yeah, on, bro. No, yeah, I yeah. did this shit. We did it together, but I wanted y'all with me when we did it. I was yeah. the, I was the, I, I, I was, was the, the accomplice. I was the anchor. I was the anchor. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, nobody it, can never sit it. here and say that I pointed the finger at nobody, bro. And that, and I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. And not for That's nothing, right. anybody who is the center of whatever universe that you occupy, like your homies, your job, whatever it is. If you the one, if you the money maker, can't nobody tell you what to do what but to do. you. So at the end of the day, your they bad can choices, give you your input. Good choices. They can give you of input, course. but you ain't got to listen because I didn't. Exactly. Exactly. At the end of the day, you're doing what you want to do anyway. And Josh so doing what I'm he gonna wants I'm going to give you another example, and I'm going to stop talking about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah fuck yeah. all that shit. <laughs> My little bro, Sebastian Telfair. Yeah. That's another one. Come on, bro. That's another you one. seen what happened mm. with him. Mm. You get what I'm saying? How did that work out? You get what I'm saying? He had to go through all of that shit, waiting for somebody, a friend or whatever. But you, yeah. you was the Messiah. He was the number one. Like he, the you, Messiah. You talk about like you were somebody that I like. You know, I was. In I mean, school. he's younger than me. They owned than me. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like Sebastian was two years <laughs> hey, older yo. than me. He before, was. Before. It was him and LeBron James that mm -hmm. were like the kings of high school basketball. They was, when I was three. Up. You know yes. what I mean? Like right. the. Those two motherfuckers were more popular than at least 65% of the NBA at one point. For sure. That's how popping they was. And add to the fact he's in New York City. He's a Brooklyn kid. You mm. know what I mean? Like, there was every single reason for him to be one of the next dudes out. So, I mean, like, there's so many cautionary tales no, of hey. people before they make it to the That's league. A fact. This is the first time I've seen somebody actively do it. As they're in the league, <laughs> like okay. as they as right. they in no, there, so that's a fact. It's it's, it's but it's it, it, I like. Let it. me let me ask you one question real quick. Me or no no Lenny? Okay. The if, fuck? Why if would he ask was, if, a question? <laughs> You're the guest. If there was one thing you could change throughout your entire process, if there was one thing you could change, what would it be? I'd have went to college, and I would have been a top five draft pick. Yeah, I believe mm -hmm. that. Wait, so if I'd have went to college, I'd have went to St. John's, I'd have played at the Garden every Sunday. There it is. And I'd have been a top five draft pick in 02. I just learned Discover credit cards do something pretty awesome. At the end of your first year, they automatically double all the cash back you've earned. That's right, everything you earned doubled. All the cash back from eating at your favorite soup dumpling restaurant doubled all the cash back from that trip where you sort of learned to snowboard also doubled and the best part you don't have to do anything ridiculous to get it nope discover does it automatically seriously though see terms and check it out for yourself at discover.com slash match do you regret like i have no it? regrets you have no regrets zero nothing. nothing zero regrets in my life because once again, like this conversation started earlier, yeah. I never expected it. And that's that's why I wanted to bring you on because you are like a, I, I don't want to say, for just for lack of a better term, you're almost like a guinea pig for a lot of shit, right? Like, bef like the, the prep star that was sure. nationwide known sure. before like stepping into like college pros, any of that type of stuff. Like you have an extremely unique view on the LeBron story and sure. the Wembenyama story sure. and the John Morant story sure. because, you know, you had a lot thrown at you at a very early age. So, like, yes, we talk about all the, the, the misfires and, like, things that happened, but, you know, there was really no precedent for it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, add to the fact, like, it's hip-hop in the early 2000s in New York City. You're the number one player. And, like, there's no social media. You feel New me? New York has the yes. best music it's and a, the best women see, see, around. See, all right, so now, world. See, now I was going to say Cass. Now you're getting into my pocket. <laughs> now <laughs> you're getting into my pocket. Saying, New I was going to say Cass, just throwing the fact that I don't know what age range of the listeners are, but no social media was very, very different. Yeah, so no, like, no, we know that. We, we have know to, that. no, we know that, but we got to make no, sure everybody knows, else knows, no, knows that. No, he knows that. No social media. No, like the like the audience knows that. Yeah, that no, no, so, social media no social was media different. was crazy. All right, so all right, like so. people don't understand. Let me give y'all a funny story, Go right? Ahead. A fun fact, mm -hmm. right? We, I'm in Vegas. I fly private to Vegas Jeez. to play in the big time tournament. I ain't never fly yep. private. 
I don't guess I'm just not Let me tell you something. Okay. I, did, I was doing You're not like, a bad bitch. Let's, no, let's make this bad. fun, though. Oh, you get what I'm guy. saying? No, we're going to make it fun. Because I already know where I'm going like, with this. Motherfuckers just, just now started doing, doing this shit, like, what, 15, 20 years yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. I was doing this shit in high school. You get what I'm saying? I fly old. private, me and Gavin, to Vegas for the big time tournament, right? Uh-huh. It's in my documentary. Uh-huh. Y'all don't even know this. That when Gavin's talking shit to me about flying planes, he's like, "You need ID." I'm like, "Motherfucker, I don't, I don't carry ID." Yeah, school ID. He says, <laughs> he says to me, "You don't carry ID because you fly private." Yeah. Right now, I'm laying on the bed. He's laying on the other bed, right? But y'all don't notice that no social media, right? Mm-hmm. So nowadays you can go on black and put in the zip code you in and all that. Uh-huh. I'm reading the motherfucker yellow pages trying to find some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you get hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's in the, the yellow pages. Just a fun fact. You get what I'm saying? Hold on, I have a question. Niggas not gonna understand what he's talking about. Really? Because people don't peep that. No, but what'd you look up in the yellow pages? They're whores. Oh, they're whores. 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 I what else are you looking page. up in we Vegas? We in Vegas. I think it was a white page. Well, well, whatever. It what else are you looking up in Vegas? But we in Vegas. Like, I'm looking through the phone book trying to find them. <laughs> He's just calling mind? names. Selena, it was yes. Crazy. Selena. Yes, like, Alana. Yes, 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 yes. Like, Perfect. What are we looking it up? It was just crazy, Jeez. man. Like, no, looking up people don't understand. Like, all right, those... so, all right so, so the fun you're having at that time, right? Mm-hmm. You're flying private. You were Gavin. Gavin, mm-hmm. you know, to the people that don't understand, Gavin is Foxy Brown's brother. Mm-hmm. Gavin was moving in the streets at the time. Foxy was moving. Like, this is 2001. Heavy, so. this broken silence days, Gavin. You this hear is me? Like his best BK anthem <laughs> days. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, I think, is, her, is a sophomore joint. What's the hottest record? As you're moving around, what's the hottest record or the hottest album or the hottest artist? Fab. Fab. My era of Fab was the hottest. He's still, still one of them. He, he, survived, he survived trap. Uh, that's not music shit. <laughs> he, got low, he, got low, he got a little lazy, but we can talk about that. Fab and Jada, can't nobody talk that boy. Them, them boys been around for a long time. Did they did still they, relevant? Did they like? Did they like? You know, embrace you? Did yes. They, yeah. Yes. I just talked to Jada yesterday. Like these guys, <laughs> I just talked to Jada yesterday <laughs> because he's supposed to be at Polygon Saturday. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like these guys is very influential still to this day. Like. They see the positivity that I'm doing, though. Nice. And that's what make them closer to me. You right. get what I'm saying? But nobody out tops Clue. Nobody out tops a Howie, a Damani. You know what I mean? My mom, my dad. Yeah. But I just love being back home and getting the love and sharing my story. What's like? So, what, what's, what's some of the best advice that, you know, a Clue, a Scott the Animal, a Fab, a Kiss? Like, what's some of the best advice... Just trying to maneuver through the streets and through like the new process of like fame and stuff. Well, I, like, I mean, I, it don't even be about or just like shit like that. But with Clue, that he he on pause. He on my ass every day. I'm with him almost every day. So mm-hmm. he just want me to be great. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Tell my story and tell it the right way. It should have been told like that the first time. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. But it don't even just be about. Motherfuckers with names. It's like just I brothers said, and all. My brother, I, my brother Moon was with me. He called me six o'clock in the morning. Like, yo, I just, I, I see you smile different now. Yeah. How we like, yo, bro? You seem happy. Like, I'm happy. Why, 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 why do you think they say that? Why do you think because they, say you they smile see, different now? they see the growth in me. But why do you, why, do you, why do you think you feel like that? Because I know the growth in me. Nice. You know what I mean? I'm a great dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit like that moves me now. Mm. I don't gotta. I don't need the attention from nobody no more. Yeah. I need the attention from my kids. And I'm cool. Do you think these conversations like this remind you of where you came from and to the point where you don't need that extra? It do, because I had that at home. Yeah. I just didn't take advantage of it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I want my kids to know that I'm here. Like you have an opportunity to be great every single day that you open your eyes. So Lenny, you I was like talking that. about what you got going on today? Can you tell us what, what the fuck you got going on today? What's going on? I'm just you know I mean? coaching, AU? motivational speaking. Yo, are you from New Orleans? It keeps coming out. Why you keep asking that? Because he keeps- She like New Orleans yeah. She loves no, New no, Orleans no, no, I don't. I don't. I, don't. I only know one. But I'm saying like the way you, 
Kitty. Man, I mean, my yeah. family from Virginia. Oh, yeah, the little country swag. Got it. <laughs> cool, cool. No, nah, but what you got going on now? Nah, I, I just do motivational speaking, coaching, training. You know what I mean? You I'm outside. Team? You got an AU team? I had one. I'm done with it right now because I'm trying to focus on me. Okay. Trying to get my book done. We already do this documentary over. People just reached out about doing a six episode mini series. Nice. Like I'm just focused on me right now. Okay. You saw you saw the draft lottery. NBA draft is coming up very very soon. There's going to be a kid that is in your or will be in your position. Mm -hmm. If you have an opportunity to talk to that kid right now, what's the advice that you give to that young man? Just make sure you keep the right people behind you. Keep the people that want the best for you and not what they can get from you in your circle, which I already know that he has because he's been playing pro already, mm -hmm. but he's going into a system where that rolls over. You know what I mean? About? To be a spur. Right. You get what I'm saying? That organization, he's going to, I believe, me, I just told somebody last night, he's going to be a spur until from the beginning to the end, as long as he keep doing what he's doing right. on and off the court. Clean. Because they have, the organization is just all for family oriented. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of teams, they just want you for basketball. They'll trade you if you're not good. They'll trade you if they can get somebody better. That organization wants you as a family. But the Spurs, 80% of the time, if you're a star, you fit, you start your career there and you finish there. Gotcha. I love how I just love how this shit with 180, 360, 940. Cause what were you about to say? <laughs> and I know this is how I know it's a good interview. When Cass shut the fuck up. No, he about to say something. Go ahead. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I, nah, I'm just, I, I appreciate y'all, though. Of course, man. It's a dope interview, man. Thank nah, you, As man. long as you felt comfortable, man. I'm that's good. all we care about. Yeah. Um, Put me up, guys. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like calling it an interview. I don't like it's that. It's a conversation. A we conversation. all know that. It's a conversation. Whatever you wanted to do. Oh, yeah, my man got the Whatever you wanted to be, man got the storm chain Go ahead, Kaz. That's all I care Low, about. Low, let right. Kaz get his thought off. All right, my boy. I have, no, I have no more thoughts. I'm no done. No more nah, thoughts? I'm all, I'm all done. I'm, I'm, we can, well, we can, was a short round. round. Okay, all right, cool. All right. Hey, uh, who you got winning? Lakers. What? Lakers in seven. Oh, God. Who you got winning Miami wait, wait, Boston? The, I'm saying the whole Lakers. final. Lakers. I just told you. Lakers. Lakers. What do you mean? I'm not talking to you, Howard. He literally just told you this answer. Right? Also, you, you, got, have... you got purple, you got purple and gold on your head. No, I don't. Shit, me. No, fuck out of here. <laughs> Turn around. Fuck out of here. Turn around. Here. Ain't no way. Turn around. Ain't no way. She got Boston in six. <laughs> I got Boston in six. I better have twenty that Boston. No, 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 Boston in six with the Heat. No, I got no, Boston no. and Lakers going. I don't Jimmy think Buckets is not having. I that love shit. Jimmy Buckets. All. I love Jimmy Buckets, but Jimmy, yeah. it's just Jimmy Buckets. You how? Or Kyle Lowry. I'm cool. Kevin Love. First of all, Ka Bam. I'm cool. I'm cool. Clearly, they proved it last night. Okay, that was one They're game. They're going to prove it again tomorrow. They're going to prove it again on Friday. <laughs> so, what are uh, we talking about? Oh, y'all dead ass? They're dead ass. All right, I'm going to say it right That's here. It's a gentleman sweep. I'm going to say it right here. It ain't going to be a sweep. No, I said gentleman sweep. sweep. 4 1. Oh, oh. I'll give it 4 1. I think I'm going to say it right here. If it's not Celtics in six, it's going to be in seven. Period. No, it's either one of the it's other, cute. bro. No, I'm just saying they're going to go. It's going to be them and the Lakers. Wrap this shit up. What you mean, wrap this shit up? It's either game six or game seven. Pick one. Does it matter? I got them winning. All right. Period. Not, I'm, not to the so Lakers. So you taking the money line. Not to the Lakers. I'm taking the money line. I'm taking the money line. You taking the money line. <laughs> Look, not to the Lakers. I'm just saying in this. Oh, no, the Lakers is winning it all. All right. And then it's going to give. I'm not doing this. I'm going to tell you why. Never got it's this. It's going to give everybody. Never got this. The when they won the bubble. Now it's back to reality. Denver, yeah. We're Denver. gonna do it without the bubble. Yeah. Denver yeah. Got and then what y'all gonna talk about? Denver got this. Cause the kid is playing like 08 he LeBron. Said Denver. Denver what? has this. I mean, can I? He made a stupid please, ass please mistake. 
Because we could have beat Denver the other night, but he came down on a fast break and shot that dumbass three when Reeves should have got the ball back in his hands. Yeah, Reeves was high. Lying. <laughs> you get Lenny, what I'm saying? What was you about to say, Cuz? But good, yeah. Lenny ain't lying. I mean, um, I watched this shit. I, don't I don't love think it. I know. I, know. I yeah, love that's, it. That's, that's the question I really wanted to ask, man. I think a lot of people that might have had your story might have a, 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 a tough relationship with the game, but you still love it uh, so but, much. But, you know what I mean? It took a lot for me to get back to this place. That's, that's why I wanted to get you to get what I'm saying? Right. Like, even after my car accident and all of that, like, it was hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't love the game no more. When I was in that car accident in California, like, mm -hmm. they said, you'll never play basketball again. I was in a wheelchair for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. They wanted to amputate my leg. Like, that shit was hard. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, people don't know. Master P saved my leg. They was going to cut my shit off. I'd have been- Who saved your leg? Master P. That's why you, know you sound what I'm like saying? this. So <laughs> like, I knew it. I knew it was in there. But yeah, so <laughs> but like, now nah, I mean, but I, even it, it, even like after all of that shit, like I played in Kuwait after all of that, like after being in the wheelchair for two and a half years, I went to Kuwait and played. I was two hundred and forty pounds, bro. My yeah. plan weight, I, my, that was my plan weight. Two twenty, two forty. I got up to three sixty. Jeez, still playing. I, that's when I went to Kuwait. Like three, I was like 350, 360. They sent me home. That was the first time I ever been cut in my life. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Now? I'm like a one, good 190. What? I'm like, nigga, are you why? You why? You why? I'm like, Cause I'm, I'm like, like you what? Times what? Times three? I'm like, this nigga, I'm like, 190? Nigga, I gotta be 70. Oh, what the fuck is we doing? Nah, 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 nah. I'm, too, right, I'm, too, I'm 290 now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you still? Like, yeah, I know I look good. Say it. I said, do you still, who? Like, do you still, are you yeah, active? Yeah, I'm active. That's Howie. Just won a championship in the city, 40 and up. Undefeated. Oh, oh, talk about, talk about, what's Undefeated. It, what's the men's league life looking like? Huh? What's your men's league like? Yeah. I hear you. It's like you're in the men's league? Yeah, like 40 yeah. And up, and 40 and up in the city. Oh, yeah. word? Howie wants so. me to ask you what you did to him. Lost. What he do to you? <laughs> what he do to your team? Lost. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> He said he locked you up. You locked him up. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I love a good friend this, banter. Yo, this is yo. This, I, uh, hold on. I won I the whole league banter. undefeated. <laughs> so what did his seat do wait. to you? Lose. Wait, wait. Listen. You said the only stat that matters is the I'll dub, play. bro. <laughs> I'll saying. play them. <laughs> this is yo. This is crazy. This is how I know a nigga lying. Yo, this is how I know a nigga lying. He don't look at you. Hey, look at him once. I don't gotta look at him. He loves. Hey, look at him once. I won the chip, undefeated. The Cinderella story. And then when I when I won, I took my jersey off and said, I'm fucking retired. <laughs> <laughs> look at him once. Yo, I want y'all to know, fun fact. Y'all no, always talk about song. like so, me and this guy's history, they met me bartending, right? Uh. So did Howie. <laughs> or, wait, that's what uh, everybody knows Rosie from. Right? The, the fun fact about Howie is he don't he don't drink a lot. Uh, He's a smoker. Smoke a lot, He's though. a smoker. Bro. But I still got Howie fucked up somehow, drunk. some way. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie you guys a, all fucked Howie up. Howie would always come to the bar and just be rolling up. Rosie had a very prolific uh, bartender run in the street. I was still, I was still getting fucked up. We be bartending there. Yeah. Why yeah. are you trying to come? Here. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Should be bartending here. <laughs> That's all the niggas fuck up now. Look, I try to invite you nowhere and fuck nothing else up. <laughs> oh my God. I can't fuck Rosie, nothing up for me, baby. You nowhere because you don't be inviting us nowhere. So fuck all that. We shit. outside tonight. But we outside though. <laughs> Wow. I ain't trying to fuck nothing up. Tonight. That's Jesus your problem. Christ, dude. Stay, stay out of this fucking yo, bar. Yo, Cass look at us like, yo, look at this badass kid. keep kids. calling me. Hey, stay all out these all fucking right, bars. All right, all right, all right. How we take them home? Cass, go talk to how us, Cass. Like, no, I'm going home, bro. Cass, talk to us. This is how Cass was when he was high last yeah, week. Damn, yo, I wasn't even high last week. Why did you keep saying I was high last week? I was not high last week. Now you were sure. Oh, was it? What you talking about? I never said that. Lenny, uh, <laughs> Before we get out of here, I do want to know what you got coming up. When is this documentary dropping? When is this book dropping? You mentioned that. Like, what's going on with you? Yeah, we working on a, um, I'm, right now I'm working on a deal uh, with some guys from California. They want to do a six to eight episode, mini, mini episode, uh, shop it around to Peacock, Hulu, you know nice. what I mean? I'm working on my book. Um, 
I'm just out here, man. I want to go to any school that want to accept me. You can request me on Instagram. I am Lenny Cook. Facebook, Lenny Cook. I'm out here. You Who on Twitter, up? right? No, I don't do Twitter. Get on Twitter. Don't get on Twitter. Don't do Twitter. Don't get on Twitter. That's not a good place. Oh, here are the thoughts. That's not a good place. That's not a good place. Don't Lenny, get on Twitter. Nah, but, uh, <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Lenny, I appreciate you so much for man, nah, thank y'all for having this me, great... man. When he reached out about it, man, I told him it was no question. Of just you know what I mean? Like, I've been here before. I'm taking my t shirt this time off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shout out, Jake. It's crazy because, look, Jake's I've been too. here before, yeah, right? Okay. When they had an event here, right? Mm -hmm. Dope event, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, I want, I want this. Right there on the rack. I'm like, yo, I it's want, yours, I want bro. this shirt, it's this yours. shirt. I need a hat. I don't know if it fits you. <laughs> no, look. So, <laughs> but, so uh, <laughs> I ended up getting a hoodie, right? Somebody yeah. stole my fucking hoodie. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I, had, I went to the Barclay <laughs> Center, right? Uh, uh, I took it off. Somebody <laughs> took my shit. Damn. No bush. Well, Jay got you, man. No, no, no. Nah, yeah, yeah, you know, Jay got you. Well, once down, again, man, bro. thank y'all for having me, man. Let me, I appreciate know, I, it. I just want to, uh, you know. Any know. more questions, I'm here. So nah, it's nah. up to y'all. Yo. <laughs> I know, I know, I know this story is, is, is. Uh, I got a question. Okay. Go ahead, Pancakes and waffles. Rosie. Go ahead. Right, cut me off, Rosie. I'm just saying. He needs no, any more questions. Ask him. Ask him. No, say what you got to say. No, I just want to say I appreciate you for coming here, sharing your story. I know sometimes things can be difficult or things can be repetitive, but you being open, you having fun, you and laughing, you revisiting parts of your life that don't necessarily hold that much weight anymore. So I appreciate you for doing that. And please continue to have this message and have this vibe to the kids that are looking at you and may not know how to articulate or get to you to tell that story. So... One time for Lenny Cook. Right I appreciate here it, on man. Say Less like I say every Rosie. day, man, look. My acronym is DREAMS. Do right even after minor setbacks. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? And use Lenny Cook as an example of what not to do, and you'll be successful. And that's it. Damn. Don't man, do I appreciate that. that, bro. I mean, it's real talk, though, man. I mean, he's a cautionary tale. You know what I mean? Like, so. No, I didn't. All right. I, you know, yeah. I, I ain't know much. <laughs> I, know. I did my research, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look, I didn't yo, know Kaz much. Yo, Kaz is so funny. Bro. I'm very. I, I, yo, I can Kaz admit, is funny though, without that I'm being funny. I'm ignorant to the. Yeah, we know. To your story. No, we know. No, but he doesn't know that. And I'm telling him. But I did my research, and I was like, hmm, very interesting. Extremely interesting, so, man. And that's that. I, I, yes, I would be interested in seeing a docu docu series on you or anything of that sort because that's an interesting story. And I feel like when that drops, a lot of motherfuckers are gonna relate. Oh yeah, for sure. And they're and it ain't even my story it. is not just about sports. You get what I'm no, saying? It's, it's just a be. life learning experience. Exactly. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not about sports, and people can relate to it from all angles. When you go out, do people like? When you go out and there's other basketball players, whatever, they know who you are, right? They love me. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I love that. They love me. What they say to you? God bless. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Drops mic. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another episode of Say Loves the Cast Low Key Rosie. Make sure you subscribe. Slash Kazim. Subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts. Like we always do at this time. Stay free. Uh -huh. Stay safe. Okay. And always stay less. You trying to get what? You trying to get what? We'll throw the mic back on. We'll do it the first, the first time for everything. Run that shit back. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me know when y'all ready. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, man, y'all, thank y'all for having me on Say Less Podcast, man. But I got to shout out a couple people, man. The whole Emporia, Virginia, mm. where is my parent? That's where my parents and my siblings is, is at. Uh, shout out to this knucklehead Howie, man. This is my bro. <laughs> I love him to death. Yes, shout out to the, shout out to Damani, Clue, everybody that that Scott just supported me, man. Just been backing me even when I was down and out, and just uplifted me now. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Shout out to my brother Z's beat, my sister Paula, everybody in Atlantic City that support me. Shout out to the whole Stay Hungry crew. It's a lot, man, but I just want y'all to know I love y'all, man, and I respect y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. Appreciate that, brother, as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. See y'all next week, people. Yes, sir. Good show.